Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Judge Tome. The single layer fortress that is going to be partially inside, partially outside. We are devout followers of Armok. Praised be his name. So, uh, yeah, everything's going pretty swimmingly so far. We're in the second month of the first year of the fortress and as you can see uh, we're taking great pains to make sure that the fortress is well designed or maybe I shouldn't say well designed <laughs> because uh, some of you might look at this and say oh that's a pretty crappy design to each their own um, maybe instead of saying well designed we should say meticulously planned <laughs> so anyways right now what we got going on is we just got some bedrooms dug out so we're about to make some beds uh, for our original dwarfs now We only have six so we might have to go ahead and open up uh, Another layer here. So why don't we go ahead and do that because we want to have a bed for every dwarf We don't want any dwarf to be left out. I'd hate to get somebody really pissed off at me So what we'll do is we'll just remove that And we'll link it back up Like so Actually, weren't we making this too? Yeah, we we're gonna make this too wide, but we don't have to have it be too wide just yet. But, ah, eh, we'll go ahead and do it. So that will open that up to where we can uh, go ahead and mine out the rest of those bedrooms on that particular row. And then over here, this is where we're gonna have some more workshops, but I don't think we need any more workshops right just actually this moment uh, we've kind of got enough going on as is I think uh, we're gonna have our carpenter start making beds we're gonna have our mason start making a desk and a chair for our um, our bookkeeper so he he can get to work on the counts because that's really important and then our mechanic is gonna get cracking making mechanisms so did we get this I may have forgotten to change these uh, stockpiles so we, we, don't, we don't want metal ore in there. Um, we don't want clay. We want probably just other stone. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. And then me uh, mechanism is probably the same thing, wouldn't you say? I mean, hmm. I mean, there is some wisdom to, to maybe like making furniture out of marble. And some of these economic stones, it could make some very, very beautiful furniture that would give dwarves a great uh, feeling when they look at it. But uh, maybe maybe that might be something we, we look at a little bit further down the road. Once our uh, mason has, is more like a legend, you know, in everything that uh, he creates or she creates. I'm not really sure it's our... Mason, a guy or a gal? Mason, Mason, Mason. Giraffa. Giraffa the, uh, is a gal. I really hope I got the sexes right here. Maybe I didn't. Let me make sure. Looks like everybody in the original group here uh, didn't, I don't think, specified a particular sex that they wanted. They just said, yes, please. Okay. Uh, anyways, so I guess we're just going to let that go. And then once we get this dug out, then we can start digging out this area uh, for our kitchen. Uh, we're probably, what I'm thinking we're going to do is this is going to be like a temporary stockpile so that we can get everything off of the wagon and we can deconstruct that wagon. And uh, then eventually we'll have more permanent stockpiles for food and booze. I'll we'll have to figure it out. We don't want it to be too far away from the, the dining hall. Uh, and also we don't want it too far away from the production area. So it might end up going like over here across the hall. I really don't know. Normally I put them uh, connected to these workshops. But in this situation it just was not feasible. We also have some area up here we could use. It's not too far away. And uh, we, we certainly want to make use of this space. Okay, let's just get back to work. Everybody's going to be buzzing right along, getting things set up. 
Should be no idlers. We should have a lot of people, a lot of things for people to do. Okay, so our Mason's workshop is done. So why don't we go ahead and add a task for, let's get a table and a throne. Is this done? It is done. Great. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, rock mechanisms on repeat. And let's navigate over to therapist and make sure that our mechanic. Okay. So we already turned hauling off on the mechanic. We're probably going to need to go ahead and turn mining off too. So Gulgnok, uh, you know, you are a good miner. You're an adept miner. Uh, you know, great, thank you for your service, and you may uh, eventually be pressed back into that capacity, but for now, uh, you're just going to be making mechanisms. And the Carpenter's Workshop's done. So we need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds. And again, just making sure, yeah, because we want those beds to get done. Now, after the beds are done, uh, we may turn back on this uh, because the other job for this person is farming but we haven't found any underground uh, any any underground soil yet which is uh, kind of worrisome wouldn't you say I mean we need the underground soil so we can start planting some plump helmets for booze we need the booze man all right uh, so we can go ahead and turn on planning mode and we can start laying in some beds over here so one of my eccentricities, one of my many eccentricities is the fact that I don't like to put the bed in front of the doorway because like in my mind, I'm thinking about the doorway, you know, opening up and the bed being here. I don't, I don't like it when people can see my bed in real life. I don't like it when people can see my bed from the doorway. So, so we'll just go ahead and get that set up and we can go ahead and planning mode some doors in here too. Every room needs a door. And we can put some doors on our workshops as well. This way we don't have to come back through and spam doors at a later date. Now we're not gonna, we might not just be making all these doors immediately. Cause there's not, <clears throat> not really a point right now. I mean, we could get a mood, I guess, but. missed something down there I was gonna put door I need to put doors here too well I don't have to but uh, probably will so now once those beds are done they're just gonna get moved right in by somebody with the furniture hauling labor they will install the beds for us And then we also need to get a table set up in one of the bedrooms. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll put a table there and then we will put a chair right next to it. Just like so. And that's going to be the room of our bookkeeper. So we might be able to do some fishing. There might be some good fishing around here. I don't know. Oh no, the giant mosquito plague is here. Incoming job cancellation spam, right? Am I right? Okay, so the first bed is in. Let's go ahead and assign this uh, bedroom. We're going to assign it to our manager, Grim. And we will go ahead and auto allocate to the bookkeeper because our manager and our bookkeeper are always going to be the same person. Yeah, we're going to have to get some kind of a stone stockpile going somewhere to clean this up. I mean, I could do a quantum stockpile, but more and more, I just feel like that's kind of gamey. If that makes any sense to you guys. Like it feels cheap, you know?
All right, and now we'll go into our, uh, actually we need to go in our noble screen by hitting N and go to our manager and we're gonna hit uh, S, or bookkeeper, I'm sorry, S for settings. We're gonna set this to highest precision. Yeah, that'll make it take a little bit longer in the uh, in the interim. And let's make sure what, uh, so Grim, also a miner. He's actually our best miner, but uh, we need him to get those counts done. So we're gonna uh, take him off of mining temporarily just to make he, make sure he gets on those counts it's only gonna leave us with two miners but we might also need to uh, take hauling off of him too what's he working on storing item in a stockpile yeah let's go ahead and pull him off of all hauling jobs too so as you can see already very early in the life uh, of our fortress we have people very very occupied it's gonna be very good when we get it, get in some uh, migrant labor basically they may not uh, come in with much skill, but at the very least they can be a strong back that can carry things. So yeah, beds are, have already made their way to the stockpile. They're not getting carried over here very quickly. That's okay, that's okay. Things will happen. Things will come together absolutely just fine. So, excuse me for just one moment. Just one second. Okay, I'm sorry, there was a crying baby incident going on, so I wanted to close the door. It can be kind of hard to focus when you got a crying baby around. Not my baby, it's a friend's baby. All right, well, uh, I guess we can go ahead and make these bedrooms. Okay, so, Mason's Workshop, we finished up there. Um, hmm. You know, we don't really need, we don't have to, you know, we don't, we don't even have the, um, this dug out yet. Carpenter's workshop, they're done too. Mechanisms is still rolling. We probably could use some bins though. So let's go ahead and make some wooden bins. I think the hotkey is in for that, yeah. Let's make five, five wooden bins. And let's take a look at our mason. There's going to be a lot of this, guys, in this game. There's going to be a lot of going back and forth between Therapist and the Fortress in in the beginning, I believe. Because we're going to really have to be watching and seeing what these people are doing. Um, it's probably going to be okay for us to take our Mason and uh, turn back on Hauling Labors. At least for now. But everybody's staying. I mean, you can look. Everybody's staying really busy. We got, uh, well, you know, my Gulgnok is sleeping. That's okay. I mean, we got to sleep. Uh, they're probably just happy that they have beds. Constructing buildings, storing items. Grim is now working on the stockpile records. Good on you. Uh, construct wooden bins. Yeah, so everything's going pretty well so far. So I think I'm going to wait until all of these beds get allocated get put into the bedrooms uh, before we start mining out things again because a lot of our hauling is being done by our miners at this point so and that looks like the last bed right there okay so now let's pause it and let's think about uh, our little area here. So I think we've kind of already got it planned out and what we were thinking about doing was <clears throat> putting an opening there opposite of the stockpile and then we were thinking here what we would do is we would do like something like this, right? Is that what we were thinking? Three, four, five, six, two, three, four. Okay, so it needs to go over uh, like this I think. Oops. Let's just count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, is that symmetrical? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, that is symmetrical. And then we're just going to have something like that. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably put like a statue right there. That sounds cool, right? We could even mine that out and put a statue in the middle there. I don't know. 
I kind of like the idea of having doorways into uh, into our into our dining room, and it would be really cool if you know at some point we found some metal and we could make those doors out of like a really nice metal, like gold, or uh, I mean even silver or iron. Since silver and iron actually have the same base value, it's pretty crazy. What are these? Cotton grass. Can we get cotton? Can we gather seeds from the cotton grass? That'd be really cool, right? You can see the mechanisms are piling up. We've got some bins going. Good, good. Very good. So our miners look like they're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty busy right now. So right now our carpenter and our manager Grim don't have anything to do. So let's uh, go back over here to therapist. Now Grim, we uh, we turned off a lot of things on Grim, like we turned off mining on Grim, because uh, because we wanted Grim to do those counts. And now that. Uh, that Grim is done with those counts and they can just be done intermittently. We're gonna go ahead and return everything back on. We'll probably start um, queuing up our production of goods through the manager page now to give Grim some, some levels in uh, organizing, I think it is. And then our carpenter here, Shelly. Um, she's a carpenter, a farmer. Yeah, we'll just turn hauling back on on Shelly as well. Which, uh, Shelly uh, is, is now a man. I think, you know, I've known men named Shelly before. That's not a, that's not a, well, it's uncommon. I was going to say it's not uncommon, but it is uncommon. Or maybe it was just last name. Like, uh, Percy Shelly. You know, the husband of Mary Shelly. Who wrote Frankenstein. Right? They were a bunch of weirdos, but uh, that's pretty cool. They did a lot of interesting stuff, I, but uh, yeah. I don't want to say too much or I'll expose myself as a weirdo. You guys already know that I'm, I'm weird, but whatever. I don't want to say too much. Okay, um, so they're digging, that's good. So we've got some more marble, we're finding some gems, that's good too. We like our gems. I like that everything's getting you know, nice and neat and put together. Um, we're getting stuff hauled around. We're getting stone where it needs to be. Pretty excited about this uh, this Let's Play, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa! What what are these? Beavers? Hordy marmots. We have marmots, guys. We have marmots. They're hanging out by a refuse pile. A family of marmots has invaded. What do they look like? A large rodent that lives in groups in the high mountains. He is incredibly skinny yet gigantic overall. His hair is brown. His skin is ecru. His eyes are black. Does anybody know what ecru is? What is ecru? Guessing it's some kind of a color or pigment? I don't know. I do not know. So moving right along here, what could we, what might be a good thing to do next? What might be a good thing to do next? Um, hmm. Well, we got our mining going. So we're going to get that done. Then we're going to have to build our kitchen, our fishery, our still. Then we're going to have to move a bunch of food into this stockpile. Then we can assign our cat to this stockpile. We're going to need some tables and some chairs. We'll probably start with like just, normally I like to start with six of each. We probably don't even have to go that far. We could probably just do three and be, and be fine. All right, I can go ahead and go into planning mode here and plan some more beds. Oops, looks like I turned planning mode off. Because the game is smarter than I am and it remembers that I've been doing a lot of planning. There we go. Beep, 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 beep. 
still moving a lot of stone. That's 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 fine. That's fine. I'm 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 happy that we're getting things moved around. It's going into the right stockpiles. Very good. I just I hope that you know we we take the time to get some get some of these mechanisms in these in this bin here. You know we've got this uh, wood bin. Doesn't look like anything's in there yet. I th I'm pretty sure we can put mechanisms in bins, right? Right? I hope. I guess I can look it up real quick. While they dig, I can look it up. Mechanisms, da 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 da. They're heavy. Their value is higher than that of a statue, levers, and gear assembly, so they make good alternative room decorations. That's interesting. You can encrust them with gems. doesn't say anything about storing them. I'm just, I'm thinking that, you know, you, you must be able to, right? It's probably just that, uh, you know, putting things in bins is, is probably not very high on the priority list of things to do. Well, okay. Uh, I guess we'll put a, put, uh, put a pause in there, and in our next video, we're just going to keep on keeping on. We're going to uh, get our kitchenary set up, and might look at getting another workshop or two built I'm not too sure maybe do some more planning I don't know we'll just do whatever uh, we need to do I guess so thank you guys so much for uh, for joining me and until next time game on